Egypt, where Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has announced a three-month state of emergency following Sunday's twin church bomb attacks. Authorities say the death toll has risen to at least 45. Yasa Hakim has more. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi is usually a calm figure when he addresses the nation, but not this time. The enormity of the events unfolding on Sunday were evident in his tone and words. They are trying to divide you. They hate seeing you united. They try to damage the tourism sector, but you stayed strong. They try to damage the economy, but you stayed strong. They turn to large terrorist attacks. Now they try to divide you from inside, how to tear the community apart. We have to be careful and aware for the sake of Egypt, for the Egyptians, for Egypt's future. It is a huge sacrifice, but we are up to it. Egypt's president said the fight against terrorism is a long and costly endeavor. Patience and caution from all Egyptians is needed at this critical stage. El Sisi then announced a three-month state of emergency to help authorities curb the militants. The Egyptian leader also announced the establishment of the Higher Council for Counter-Terrorism and Extremism, with broad powers to take action. The Council will have all the powers to implement the anti-terrorism plan adopted by National Defense Council, powers related to how to deal with the media, powers to approach justice, legal powers and religious preaching. Most, if not all Egyptians we spoke to have supported the measures set by El Sisi. The terrorists are savages. They must be brought to justice and given the death penalty right away. I agree to the new measures announced by the president. Security must be upgraded. As the casualties rise, more Egyptians feel terrorism needs an iron fist. As the country goes into national mourning, the latest decisions by the Egyptian president could prove to be a turning point in his approach to the fight against terrorism. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo. And let's get you the very latest on the fallout from these attacks. And I'm joined from Cairo by Yasser Hakim. Yasser, you are at the scene of the blast in Tanta on Sunday. Can you tell us more about what you saw? Yes, the uh, situation there uh, was of obviously uh, a, a lot uh, of, of tragic events that happened and, and it was obvious to see uh, very touching scenes there. Uh, the, the bodies obviously of, of those who died uh, and uh, the, the people around trying to uh, help out with all the injured and, and uh, uh, all the people who, who came to see their family members, their relatives, their loved ones, see if they have survived. Uh, this uh, tragic incident uh, or they are uh, inside uh, also saw the the neighbors and the neighboring buildings going down trying to help out in whatever way they can find ca they can uh, see uh, and that's in spite of the security forces telling people to stay away just in case there might be another bomb or something but the the, the people wanted to help so much they were all gathered around the, the, the church uh, to help uh, those who were affected by the bomb uh, it, it was also a sign of solidarity between uh, the Egyptians, uh, all different uh, religions. They were all like one, the Muslims helping uh, the Christians. Uh, the, the death toll, uh, for example, in Tanta uh, was out of the 24 who died, uh, around uh, uh, eight, or ten, uh, 8 or 9 were Muslims. So, so that's not a small number. Uh, and therefore, it was one, uh, one side, in spite of the uh, uh, attempts by the, uh, the terrorist groups to divide the, the nation uh, between sectarianism, between the, uh, Muslims and Christians, it was actually an event that united uh, the Egyptians. Uh, at the same time, obviously, the security was, was very strong at the area. It cordoned off the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, church. Uh, 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 most of the time and trying to make sure that there is no uh, other bombs in the area. We, we understood, but it's not confirmed that one bomb was diffused uh, close by, but it's not confirmed uh, news until now. Uh, 
so that was the scene uh, during that day, and, and also uh, the blood donations. Everyone was went in masses to to donate their bloods, uh, and I talked to one of the doctors, and he told me that uh, the donations reached double fold, which they wanted more than what they needed, and they had to stop Egyptians from going to donate because they felt they had more than enough. Right. Uh, there was a lot of solidarity, uh, yes, and we do understand that the death toll has risen to at least uh, 45 people. What, can you confirm for us, though, the actual death toll at this point and the number of those wounded and how exactly the hospitals in Tanta and Alexandria are coping? Right. The, the, the number, uh, as I understand, uh, there's uh, one uh, person who died uh, a while ago. Uh, she was injured during the blast, but it was she was confirmed dead uh, a while ago, and that increases the death toll to around 45. And uh, the the injured are 218. Uh, if you compare Alexandria with with Tanta, in Alexandria the injured were less, and uh, they were less dangerous or less critical injuries, because in Alexandria the uh, suicide bomber. Uh, detonated himself outside the, the the church because he was not able to go in uh, as the uh, security f uh, personnel there stopped him from going in uh, when uh, the metal detector uh, blew out uh, blew off uh, and they, uh, they told him to stay out or or take off anything that's metal so he just blew himself because he knew that he wouldn't go in uh, and blowing himself outside minimized the number of casualties uh, on the other hand in Tanta the bomb happened inside. The, b the explosive device went out inside the church while people were praying there where the celebrations were ongoing. So the casualties were much higher and the injured who are still in hospital, are, uh, are, they have more critical injuries and, uh, and a lot of them are still in, 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 in care, uh, not just in Tanta and Alexandria, but actually right. uh, the well-equipped uh, military hospitals were opened to the injured uh, by the Egyptian president and the uh, army. And uh, yes, uh, Egypt is currently though under a new state of emergency. What exactly does that entail at this point? All right, uh, we just have to differentiate because this was confusing a lot of Egyptians here, the difference between a state of emergency and the law of emergency. This is the state of emergency. It's uh, for uh, three months. Uh, usually it, it gives more uh, uh, flexibility for the security uh, apparatus to uh, monitor uh, the uh, all kind of transactions and we're talking about uh, emails uh, letters all kinds of uh, transactions uh, to to arrest uh, suspects uh, uh, on hand to stop uh, to give them more legal powers uh, to stop any incidents without having to go back to uh, pertain legal uh, documents before uh, ambushing uh, some kind of suspect's house or something, uh, as well as uh, controlling uh, the media, media out, because one problem is that there are media outlets that promote terrorism, uh, that are funded by extremist uh, uh, elements outside Egypt, and they uh, try to use the media in all its forms, social media or print or TV, uh, to, to try to promote the extremist thinking. And this will give more leverage to the security to control these uh, media outlets and, and uh, take action without having to go back to legal documents that take a long time, which makes, which makes it ineffective. So uh, this is basically uh, most of what it means. Sometimes it, it, it would require to stop to uh, a curfew in some areas, but this is only limited to very, very... Uh, uh, limited situations when you take a curfew it has not been mentioned and although the uh, uh, the uh, right. state of emergency has started at 1100 hours GMT it's already been seven hours now or more uh, and we don't feel day on day-to-day -day basis we don't feel uh, that there's any difference right now in our day-to-day -day life right uh, Yasser Hakim uh, giving us uh, that update there from Cairo in